Hi, everybody. Hi, boys and girls. This is uh, City Council Member Chris Beal, and today I'm coming to you um, with a story about how this little guy right here doesn't want to be a frog. Isn't that fun? And this is my friend Ginger. This is my little kitty. She's here uh, with us this morning, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying this uh, out of lunchtime with some family or friends or brothers or sisters or... Uh, somebody else who might enjoy this story. You know, Tacoma Public Libraries has just tons of books like this that are just really fun uh, and sometimes provide important lessons for us in life. And I think that's what we're going to learn today. I think we're going to learn a little bit and have a little bit of fun. Uh, it's always fun to visit our public libraries. And, you know, when we get back to normal, you can go and check out these really fun books and, you know, check out as many books as you want and learn and read and have a lot of fun. Um, so hopefully we can have fun together as we read through this really cool book. I really enjoyed this book. So it's called I Don't Want to Be a Frog by Dev Patty. And this little guy right here has an important lesson to learn about life. So the book starts with, let me ask you something. If you could be any animal in the world, what would it be? Probably not a frog, right? What do you like to pretend to be? Do you ever say to your friends or your brothers or sisters, pretend that I was a dinosaur or pretend that I'm a giraffe? What do you like to be? You know, when I was a kid, I really liked to be a dinosaur and I used to clomp around and try to act like a dinosaur. But you know, I just always ended up as me. And I think that's the important part of this story. So I don't wanna be a frog. I want to be a cat. Well, you can't be a cat. Why not? Because you're a frog. I don't like being a frog. It's too wet. Well, you can't be a cat. I want to be a rabbit. You can't be a rabbit. Why not? Look, I can hop. Sure, but where are your long ears? Besides, what's wrong with being a frog? I don't like being a frog. It's too slimy. That may be, but you can't be a rabbit. I want to be a pig. Well, you can't be a pig. Well, why not? This little guy is so confused. He just wants to be whatever he wants to be. Most of all because you're a frog, but also because you can't, you don't have a curly tail and you don't eat garbage. Well, I can eat garbage. Everyone says that until they eat garbage. Sorry, you can't be a pig. I wanna be an owl. Of course you wanna be an owl. Being an owl is the greatest thing ever. Boy, would you love being an owl? I sure would. So you, so can I be an owl then? I mean, seems reasonable. No, of course not. Well, why not? Well, let's go through the list. One, you don't have wings. Kind of important to be an owl if you have wings. Two, you don't look wise. Most owls look pretty wise, don't they? Three, you can't turn your head all the way around. You ever see that silly thing owls can do? And number four, most important, you are a frog. That's why you can't be an owl, silly. Well, what's wrong with being a frog anyway? Too much bug eating, you see that? He's got a bug sandwich. He just doesn't like eating them bugs. I see, but still, no, being an owl is not for you. So here comes the big wolf. And you know what the wolf says? Why are you so glum, little frog? Well, I don't want to be a frog. Well, what do you want to be then, says the, says the wolf. Not a frog. I want to be a cat or a rabbit or a pig or an owl. Something cute and warm. Kind of like my little friend Ginger that was here. Cute and warm. Well, I'm going to let you know a little secret, says the wolf. He's kind of confiding in him here. I love eating cats. I love eating rabbits. I love eating pigs. I love eating owls too. And I'm pretty hungry. 
I just might go gobble some up right now. And look at that little frog. He's scared. That's terrible. That is terrible. But it's who I am. But guess the one thing I never eat. Badgers, says the frog. Oh, no. No, no. I eat badgers. Lots of badgers. Lots of badgers. Frogs? Bingo. Why don't you eat frogs? You know why? Because they are too wet and slimy and full of bugs. Oh, so it's good to be a frog, says the little frog to the wolf? Yep. I guess you can't fight nature. We are what we are. Isn't that true? You're a fierce hunter. And you're a wet, slimy, bug-eating, very lucky little frog. And you should just be happy you're not a fly. What's wrong with being a fly? Oh, see, he got the fly. And there at the end. Pretty funny. I think that story really holds an important lesson there, kids. You know, it's really important to just be who you are, you know? Sometimes we always want to be something else, but at the end of the day, we are who we are. And I think that's what that little frog learned, you know, and at least we're not the fly, right? There's always a silver lining to look at. So I really enjoyed that book. I'm glad that we were able to share this time together. I hope that you have a great afternoon. I hope that you give your parents or your brother or sister a big hug and just say, you know what? I like you for who you are, because that's an important lesson that I think we learned from this book today. So thanks for joining me. I appreciate you. Have a great day.